So a man asks me, are average white men better than average black men? No, 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 no. See, a man don't understand why black women, after years and years and years of dating black men, turn around and start dating white men. Right, so boom, back in the early days of JY's TV, long time ago, man's made a response video to one of King Richard's videos, isn't it? Yeah, big up man like King Richard, isn't it? In one of his videos, he said that black men need to have superpowers in order to attract black women, but white men, they can just be average and get a decent black woman, isn't it? And man came up with an analogy. Man patterned up this analogy, isn't it? Yeah? No one can tell me they invented this analogy, yeah? Man's put my copyright stamp on that, yeah? You feel me? So, boom, let's use London as an example, isn't it? In the black community in London, we've got a range of black men. We got the neeks, we got the nerds, we got average black men, and then we got the more desirable black men, the bad boys, the superstars, and that. Yeah, man with swag, man with confidence, and that. On the flip side, in London, in my opinion, all white men are the same. They're average. There's no range. You understand? Man just said that there's a range of black men, but in the white community in London. There's no range. They're all pretty much the same. They're all pretty much average Joes, innit? One or two superstars here and there, innit? So, man practices Taekwondo, innit? Yeah, been doing it for like 20 years, 21 years, innit? Yeah, had a little break since the COVID thing in there, but boom. So, Taekwondo is a Korean sport, Korean martial art, yeah? And if you know anything about Korea, they call it the uniform race. It's homogeneous. Everyone pretty much looks the same. All the men pretty much look the same. All the women pretty much look the same. So, if I knew a man and he told me he's got a Korean girlfriend, I instinctively already know what the fuck she's going to look like. I know she ain't going to have a big chest. I know she ain't going to have a big bum. That's pretty much 99.9% .9 of the Korean women them But let's say for example In Korea 30% of the women They were built like black women They had big chest and big bum Hypergamy says That you would go after The top 30% of women Not the average 70% It's the same with black men In the black community Black women want the best of the best It's called hypergamy when they go for a white man, they're just going to get an average white man because most of them are average. There's nothing special about them. And what man need to realise is, sometimes, yeah, when women are dealing with one specific type of man and they don't get anywhere with them, they keep running into brick walls, like, oh, they're getting cheated on, they're getting played, they're getting disrespected. They go and look elsewhere. You know, there are some women who have only dated rich guys, men who are successful, Man that drive the best of the best cars and that. Live in the best of the best apartments and cribs and that. You know, when a woman dates enough of those guys and gets fucked around by them, cheated on them, disrespected by them, do you know what they do? Some women say to themselves, so, you know what? I'm going to go for the complete opposite. I'm going to go and date a broke man. True stories. There were some women, they only date tall guys. But the tall guys have fucked them around. Took the piss out of them. So you know what they say? I'm going to date a short guy. Because maybe, hopefully, I'll get some success with him. Same with the black man. Women, they only date black men of a certain calibre in their eyes. Them man, they fuck them around. So you know what they say? Fuck black men. Yeah, I'm going to go for a white man. I know a mixed race girl. You know them mixed race people that think they're only black and they're not white. They try to deny their white side. I know a mixed race girl who has said to me in the past, I will never date a white man. Years later, she said to me, do you know what, yeah? I might have to date a white man. Because all the black men she's come across have fucked her around, cheated on her, turned out to be no good. This is what women do. When they run out of options, they start to look elsewhere. They'll go for the complete opposite. Man, seen that 90 Day Fiancé uh, program. There's a black girl. Not a black girl who moves like a white girl. No, a proper black ghetto girl. She went and I think she tried to marry some guy from Jordan. The man them, she had to go and fly to the country. The man them's family can't even speak English. She's all almost converted to Islam and that. Do you know why? Because she's been fucked around by so many black men 
that now she's like, you know what? Fuck black men. Yeah, I'm going to go somewhere completely different to see if I have any luck and success. There are black women right now. Fuck black women. No disrespect. There are women right now who have turned lesbian. Not because they're sexually attracted to women. They've had so much bad experience with men. They're like, you know what? I ain't dealing with no more men. I'm going to go over to the other side and deal with women. That's the reason why black women... Decide to drop out black men and go for an average white guy Because the black men that they do, dealt with They fucked them around so much They've given up hope They're like fuck it let me go to another race and see if I have any success That's why you see them going with average white men The reason why that, the white men that they go with are average Because majority of white men are average There are a small percentage of What I'll call the best of the best Or the superstars or whatever in it. Yeah, like, For example you know them Taui White man, them little swaggy white man, Lockie and Mark Wright and all them man there or whatever, innit, yeah? The reason why the black women in London can't get them, them man there, what you think them white man from Taui want uh, ghetto ass uh, Shaniqua and, and Tonya? No, 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 no. They would go for one of them top tier white man from Taui. The top tier white man from Taui don't want their ghetto ass gorilla ass. That's the, that's the fucking reason why them black women can't get the top tier white man because they wouldn't even want them they even they are not in the spaces to 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 come across them them Tawi man they're too hood for them as well white men average white men are not better than average black men yeah and i'm i'm telling you like i even got family members my mum told me like oh you know, yeah, like, so this particular family member is now with a white man. I can't believe she's with a white man right now, you know, because back in the day, she was like a fucking yardie. She's a British-born Jamaican woman, but she was like a fucking yardie. Gold tea in her mouth, turn up to all them dances and that. She says she can't believe that such and such is with that white man now. She would never imagine her to be with that white man right now. And her baby father, who's a black man, is a bad boy as well. Was a bad boy back in the day. He's a big Ross Clark man now, and he was 56 and that. But back in the day, he was a bad man. Like, I'm not even going to say man's name, but man is even known on the estate that he's from. Like, oh, that's big man. One of the OGs, literally on the block. And she's gone to a white man. You know why? Because she's sick and tired of the black men then. And they're not in no spaces to attract white men of a higher calibre. So they just go for an average white man. And you know what happens? They end up bossing them around as well. So black men that look and think, ah, oh, like, if you know yourself, you're an average black man, innit? And you think to yourself, well, I'm an average black man, and I see all these black women with average white men. Why are they with them? They should be with me. Trust me, you don't want them women anyway. You don't want them fucking ghetto-ass gorillas and that want to try to run their relationship and that. Trust me. You don't want them type of women there. Trust me, man, no family members and that. Women, they talk about, oh, yeah, I want a man that will shut up and do what I say and I run the relationship and that. I'm thinking, boy, me and this woman were... If, if this woman was like a, a candidate, yeah, if she weren't family or whatever and she weren't so old, I mean, it's either you submit or you get the fuck out of man's life, innit? Yeah, one or the two, innit? Yeah, man ain't submitting to no woman, innit? Yeah, so don't really be too... If, if you're looking at certain black women with some average white guys, don't really be too jealous, you know? Or envious and that because they're the type of women that want to run the relationship and boss the man around unless you're built a certain way then women there will be bossing you around as a black man as well telling you man made videos about this already white bl black women are not really attracted to white men like that only five percent of black women are generally attracted to white men and they're the black girls that grow up in them the neaky parts of enfield and barnet and bromley them proper white white areas and that 95% of black women, they don't find white men attractive like that. They don't. They don't. They just settled with them. That's why I don't rate black women when I see them with white men. Because I know the reason why they're with that guy is because they settled. I know they generally aren't attracted to that. They just settled. That's why I can't rate the majority of black women that I see with white men. Because I know if they could find the qualities of a white man like, you know, because the thing is... Women want to settle down and, you know, uh, create a family and that. And yeah, it's all well and good, my man with that car and whatever in it. Yeah, yeah, he looks good and that. But he ain't really uh, husband material and that. And women, once they get to a certain age, they want a husband type of man. 
is if they can't find that in the black community. So that's why they go for the go for the white men and that. If they could find a black man that's of husband material, they would have him. But they can't. So they have this conundrum. It's like, well, do I do I do I go with one of these guys and yeah, make all these babies and that, but my youths are gonna be struggling and they can't eat or whatever. And I'm a single mom, or do I find a little waste man that I can boss around and push around, but he's gonna be uh he's gonna stick around in my youth's life and that. So yeah, that's why they go for the white men. That's why they go for the white men. And I don't care what anybody says. There's only a few select black women that actually are generally attracted to white men. But the majority of them are not. The only reason why they're with them is because they settled. Don't get interested, as I said, a few select white men. Uh you ask black women. Oh, what do you think of Sean Connery back in the day and Brad Pitt? No, the black women I'm talking about are big women, 50 years old. They'll say, yeah, 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 he's lovely. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Sean Connery. Yeah, but Brad Pitt, oh, he's smoking up. Those are a few select white men. But the average white man, they're not interested in it. They're not interested in it. If you're a white man watching this right now, ask yourself, is your missus, is your black woman, is she submissive to you? Can you literally be sitting down in your chair and say to her, can you go and make me a cup of tea, please? Or can you get my dirty laundry and go and put it in a wash, please? If the answer is no, she ain't, she don't respect you like that. She ain't, she ain't submissive to you like that. The only way a relationship's going to work is when the woman is submissive to the man in it, yeah. If she's not submissive to you, she's probably cheating on you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Average black men that's watching this right now, yeah. Don't be jealous and envious of these average white guys that get these black women in that. Please believe they're cheating on them. They're cheating on them. They're cheating on them with the guys that they really want, but they can't get a good commitment out of them, or they ain't husband material. So don't worry, fam. Don't worry, blood. Don't worry about them women there. Don't worry about them women there, innit? So, to answer my man's question, innit? I don't know if he's a subscriber, but someone left a comment on my video. Are average white men better than average black men? The answer is no. The only reason why the black women are dating average white men is because they're sick and tired of the games and the bullshit from black men. So, you know what? They go to the other side. Just like women who turn lesbian, who have never really been into women at all. They've never had no, they're not even bisexual, they was never bisexual. They just go for women because you know what? They don't want to get burnt and scarred and charred by another man again. So they so you know what? Fuck it, I'm going to go over there and see if I'll find someone to love me. That's it, man. That's it, man. Anyway. Stay wise. Done, man.